Hello everyone. Today I am going to teach nationalism in Europe, which is chapter one of history, and this is the first part wherein I will be covering certain topics: absolutist form of government, utopian society, nation state, upreined by Frederick Soroy, plebiscite. Hello everyone. under absolutist form of government it is that form of government which is having no restriction nobody can stop you there is no limit whatever power is being exercised it cannot be controlled by anybody else it is totally monarchy in nature that is power is in someone's hand and that is a single entity or a single individual okay and it is militarized likewise the single entity can give any order to any person to kill or hang somebody it is repressive which means it holds you back it forces you down okay now a uh, utopian is basically an imaginary state it is fictional it is not existing in reality because it is considered to be so perfect that nobody can believe that it can exist for example you are imagining a country which is free from crime even a world or something is so perfect which is considered to be flawless and remember this is not any form of government it is just a state of society now a uh, utopian is basically an imaginary state nation state is a very important terminology which uh, was given by ernest renan in 1882 it means feeling belonged a common identity basically it came from a common history or you have some common ancestors or you had some common struggles or any if you had some common troubles also that kind of a feeling that you can relate to somebody else is termed as nation state so citizens of any particular nation they feel that they are belonging to that nation for example we are indians so we belong to india okay we have a history so this is nation state nation state is a very important terminology which uh, was plebiscite this is another terminology which means vote by all the citizens or voting by the full population of a country or even a population of any region particular region so why do you vote you basically vote in order to either accept or reject a given proposal or you can say you vote for the person you would like to lead you while we cast our vote we look into certain criteria whether that person is eligible to run our nation or our area so we cast vote this is considered to be plebiscite taking votes by all the citizens in order to come to a decision whether this proposal has been accepted or it has been rejected plebiscite this is another terminology so uh, as you can see this is a very um, beautiful print drawn by frederick seroy who was a french artist so in this print he was actually dreaming of a world which is made up of democratic and social republics that is there is no monarchy or no one person ruling a nation and this image was made in 1848 
now if you look at the image i have placed one uh, on the statue of liberty at uh, the point one it is indicating that on in this hand statue of liberty is holding charter of rights of man which means charter basically represents rights of a man for example right to freedom right uh, right to freedom of religion freedom of speech etc at number 2 the statue of liberty is holding the torch of enlightenment which means the statue of liberty is showing us the way to freedom or where we have to walk where we can receive our freedom or peace the third point is indicating broken pieces of absolutist system which i mentioned in the previous slide absolutist means monarchy one person exercising their power without having any restrictions or any control on the power number 4 is indicating different nations through their different flags and their costumes so and the fifth number is indicating united states which has already crossed the statue of liberty and it is way far ahead after the united state it is followed by switzerland which i have not indicated the second one is switzerland and uh, on the sixth number you can see at the above in the sky there are christ angels who are looking at this particular scene and which is showing fraternity the word is mentioned there fraternity which is actually a mutual support they are boosting it that this should happen we all are together so we are like a nation state so uh, as you can see this is a very um, beautiful print drawn by frederick siroy who was a french artist so in this print he was actually dreaming of a world which is made up of democratic and social republics that is there is no monarchy or no one person ruling a nation and this image was made in 1848 now if you look at the image i have placed one uh on the statue of liberty at uh, the point one it is indicating that on in this 